Now to bail reform. It was meant to keep nonviolent offenders who couldn't make bail out of jail awaiting trial, but a loophole allowed those possessing illegal weapons to go free. The state attorney general is asking the courts to close that loophole after Jersey City Mayor Steve Fulop made a similar request. He joins David Cruz. So, Mayor, you caused a stir recently by suggesting some changes into what you call a loophole into the bail reform system. Let's start by explaining where this loophole is. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's a loophole or a mistake, but I think uh, at the end of the day, when the Trenton legislators decided that carrying a illegal firearm was classified as a nonviolent crime and releasing more than 50 percent of the people that we arrested right away, um, clearly to me that was a mistake. I mean, if you're carrying an illegal gun, uh, your intentions are violent, and so you should be treated as such. You might not be surprised to know that some of your critics uh, called it uh, several things. They called it grandstanding, first of all. Uh, and then the ACLU says that it compares the new system to perfection, not the old system. Yeah. And uh, the Star Ledger this week said it's a mad dash to change reform based on anecdotes. So I agree with 98 percent of bail reform. I don't think money should be the factor whether you stay in jail or you get released. However, Carrying an illegal gun should not be classified similarly in any way to uh, smoking weed or being uh, caught carrying it. Um, I think that carrying an illegal gun is a serious crime. Today, criminals know that they will get out right away. They antagonize the police officers and some of the people we have arrested again weeks later. And so whether it's Trenton, whether it's Newark or Camden or Jersey City, I think any mayor who's involved in this would tell you that it is a cycle of the same characters again and again, and this will hopefully change it. The suggestion is that that was the case before there was reform. Yeah, but you want to be serious on guns. So guns is a serious offense, an illegal gun in particular is what we're discussing, that needs to be clamped down because it terrorizes neighborhoods. So if you want to turn the cycle in some of your cities on violence, you need to make sure that the people who are carrying guns know that there are serious repercussions if they get caught carrying it. Today, that's not the case, and we need to change that in the bail reform. What is wrong with a judge having the discretion? Yeah, so, so the way it works today is that you're Because the ACLU put out some numbers that said in, in 79 instances, where prosecutors asked for detention, 66 of those were granted. So, so the state gave numbers, and we'll go back and forth. I mean, numbers are numbers. Everybody will point to the same thing um, that justifies their position. The state would say over half of the people arrested with gun offenses were released uh, immediately. Um, ACLU will say something different. My point is that you need to classify carrying an illegal gun as a very serious offense, not as a medium offense as it is today, period. And so. Um, if you get caught or arrested with an illegal gun, your intent is to do damage to somebody else. There's no other way that you can use an illegal gun. You can't take it to a firearm range. You can't use it for recreational purposes. Your intent is to hurt somebody, and it should be treated as such. So I appreciate the ACLU's position. We agree on many things. This is one area that we don't agree. Somebody could argue that uh, an illegal gun or a gun, illegal or not, could be used in, for protection as well. Well, if, if, you're, if your goal is protection, then you don't get an illegal gun, number one. And number two is you register it and go through the proper uh, channels in order to make sure that it is legal. My point is that if you have somebody on the street who is a thug carrying an illegal gun, their intent is to harm somebody, and it should be treated as a violent, not nonviolent. It's a loophole or a mistake in Trenton legislation with regards to bail reform. So what's wrong with giving a judge that discretion? Well, I mean, the judge errs today in the way bail reform is structured on allowing people to be released so that money isn't the factor deciding if they stay or go. So they err on the side of letting them go and they classify uh, gun possession as a medium type of offense. You uh, used an example of some uh, a guy named DeJour Riley yeah. who was killed. He had been arrested several times. Uh, for gun possession, and, and you said that it was because of, of these, this loophole yeah. that he was out in the street and that's how he was killed. And then people suggested, well, wh what are you suggesting, that we should lock people up for their own safety? All right, so, so this, is, this is typical kind of politics and, and uh, uh, 
you know, people kind of spinning uh, what I said. I gave many different examples of situations where we would arrested somebody for gun possession and they were released immediately. We've had situations where we arrested somebody for a gun, they were released immediately, we arrested them again for a gun several weeks later, released again. So people- But looked, we don't know that those people committed crimes, right? Well, they're carrying illegal guns and their intent, if you're carrying an illegal gun, I would say is not to do anything helpful. Yeah. Um, so. People point to the one instance where we arrested somebody with an illegal gun. He had a track record, an extensive history with regards to a firearm and uh, the police activity. We arrested him for a gun. He was released immediately. And whether it was retaliation or related to the first offense, it's under investigation, but he was killed several weeks later. Um, you know, when you release somebody right away, witnesses get terrorized, community gets terrorized. Um, often there's retaliation. So people could say that you know, misconstrue what I said and say that I was uh, saying that you lock people up for their own safety. I think that's really mischaracterizing the goal of what I was pushing for. I have about 30 seconds yeah. left. Uh, the attorney general's office came out in support yeah. sort of, of what you said, but they added eluding police uh, to the list of violent offenses. Would wow. you support that? You know, look, I, eluding police, I need to understand a little bit more what that means. Sometimes people run and they're scared um, and for a variety of reasons, even if they have like a small small quantities of uh, marijuana. All right, Jersey City Mayor Steve Phillip, thanks very much for coming in. Hey, thank you.